Okay everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to do a dipstick. Uh, specifically, this is a 10 dip. So first, you have to grab your specimen, which I have it here. Verify that you have the correct patient, which I do. I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to grab one of the dipsticks. So you're going to put it inside the urine in one quick motion. Make sure you get all of them, all the little squares inside. One quick tap at the edge to get rid of any excess urine. And now you're gonna lay it flat so you can start the test. You can clean up in the meantime because it's gonna be 30 seconds before our first parameter is ready to be read, which would be the glucose and the bilirubin. So the way you read this is top to bottom. Okay, so top is right here on our strip. You see the little handle? So up here at the top, we have our longest test, which is the leukocytes. And at the bottom right here, this blue is our glucose. So our shortest test is always gonna be closest to the handle. It's been about 30 seconds, so we're ready to read the test. You can either hold the strip up and bring it close to your test and see what color it is, or you can just leave it flat on the ground um, on your table and bring the bottle close to you, again, not touching anything because we don't want to contaminate the bottle. So it looks like it's still blue, so we have a negative result for glucose. So on your urine analysis paper, you're going to write negative. Next test was our bilirubin, which still looks to be the same color, so that would again be negative. Our next test is ketone, which it's been a, about another 10 seconds, and it looks to be the same brown as our negative. So again, negative. Now for our specific gravity, it is 45 seconds. And this one, one, two, three, four, looks to be about this green color, this dark green. So that would make our specific gravity 1.010. Don't leave out any of the zeros because that's very important. Next is blood, which would be one, two, three, four, five. If you ever lose count, just count the squares from the bottom up. One, two, three, four, five which is a dark green about this color. So that looks like two positives. And that would be a positive blood test for blood in the urine. Next would be pH. So it looks about this middle green color. I mean, this middle orange color. So that would be a pH of about six. Next is protein. Again, keep reading. It looks to be negative. Euro bilirubin, and that would be, it's not really a pink color. Three from the top, one, two, three. Looks to be more of the 2.0 than the one. I mean, 0 0.2 than the one. <laughs> Next would be NIT, which is white, so that'd be negative. And finally, leukocytes is white, so again, negative. So that's how you would fill out a paper for your analysis.